Hey, Dr. G here. Thanks for watching this short video. In today's video, we're talking about magnesium and why it's so important for the body. In fact, it's used in over 300 physiological processes every single day. So today we're going to talk about the top five symptoms of magnesium deficiency. So let's go over to number one, muscle. If you have low levels of magnesium, it will definitely affect your muscle. Any, anything from muscle pain, muscle spasms, muscle twitching, muscle cramps could all be related to low levels of magnesium. You see, magnesium is involved in muscle contraction. Whenever you have low levels, muscles may be firing at different rates at different times. They may be weaker, which can lead to muscle spasms, muscle twitching and muscle pain. You may have seen people or maybe even experienced yourself where you have muscle cramps or sometimes your eyelid twitches and that's a classic sign of magnesium deficiency. Number two is chronic pain. When you have low levels of magnesium, your nervous system becomes more sensitive, hypersensitive to stimulus. So if you're under stressful situations every single day, you're going to have more muscle tension and that's going to lead to more muscle pain. And one classic example of this is fibromyalgia where you have very sensitive spots all over the body and it becomes chronic because you're always hypersensitive to stimulus around your area. Now when you have normal levels of magnesium, it has a calming effect on your body so your nervous system is not very sensitive. Number three is numbness and tingling in the hands and feet. For this, you first have to rule out a pinched nerve. Once that's rolled out and you continue to have numbness and tingling, then you have to look at your magnesium levels. And the reason for this is because magnesium plays a huge role in the transmission of nerve impulses. Number four is insomnia. A person with low magnesium levels is going to produce less of a neurotransmitter called GABA, which is responsible for making you feel relaxed. Now, if you produce less of this GABA, then you're going to feel more stressed and more anxious. So when it comes time to sleep, you're going to have a difficult time. Number five is chronic fatigue. This goes down all the way to the cellular level. Inside our cells, we have organelles called mitochondria, which are responsible for producing energy, and they rely heavily on magnesium for that. So if we're low on magnesium, we can't produce energy, and we're going to feel chronically fatigued every single day. So there you have it guys, those are the top five symptoms that you may experience if you're suffering from magnesium deficiency. So how can you replenish those stores? Well, you can get it from your food or you can use a nutritional supplement. Foods that have a lot of magnesium include avocados, seeds, nuts, fatty fish, legumes, and leafy vegetables such as spinach. So if you're looking for a supplement, what you want to look for is for something called magnesium glycinate. This is the most absorbed form of magnesium in the body, so that's what you want to use if you're going the supplement route. I hope the information in this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me your comments and questions down below. And if you're looking for a very highly absorbable magnesium supplement, make sure you visit our website, soothingnutrition.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.